Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Just want to go over some PC game news and updates. CD Projekt Red, of course, still very much in the cyberpunk business. We just got the Edge Runners update. The Edge Runners anime should be dropping soon. Is it today? Is the is the Edge Runner dropping today? Uh it's definitely coming out here very soon. No, it's tomorrow. But so uh that's the anime that will be uh dropping on Netflix. And of course, we have uh the new expansion that's also coming, a Phantom Liberty but it also looks like there might be a full-on cyberpunk 2077 sequel we'll talk about that a lot of news coming out of the ubisoft event do want to give you guys a heads up on tom clancy's the division heartland a brand new free-to-play title coming from ubisoft you can register now for a chance to play the game early we'll talk about that and for axis games next title marvel's midnight suns has finally gotten a release date after it got a delay we'll talk that at the end of this video but first up cd project red is hinting at a full-on cyberpunk 2077 sequel now it was noted that Phantom Liberty is looking to be one major expansion for the game, and that's going to be it as far as paid expansions go for the game. It was noted during the Q&A with CDPR CEO Adam Kaczynski, we decided to release one large expansion using the potential of the new generation of consoles. At the same time, I would like to emphasize that we want to further develop Cyberpunk's IP. We have invested a lot of time and effort to build this brand, and we definitely intend to develop it further. I am honestly not that surprised by this, and... That might be coming a bit of a surprise to you guys because you might be thinking, yo, Cyberpunk 2077 had such a negative reception. So many people hated the game. And uh, why would they continue to uh, create another Cyberpunk game or build this IP even more? Well, we know they are already invested into this IP. They're investing into this IP based on the fact that Cyberpunk 2077 is still getting updates. It's still getting that expansion. And the fact they're doing an anime series, I feel like tells you a lot that Netflix is partnering with CDPR to do this Edge Runners anime. Like the game itself was going to get updated. I feel like they owed it to the consumer to update the game just because of the negative reception. But it's not like this game did absolute disastrous numbers from a commercial standpoint. I mean, at the end of the day, the game's got 424,000 Steam reviews, and that's a pretty high amount as far as Steam reception goes. I mean, the reception now is mostly positive, so that's at least kind of good for them and the fact is they also have the foundation for the ip already built and since they did invest what north of a decade even longer than that on the IP, I could understand why, because they are already so invested into it, why not continue building upon it? It will be interesting to see the reception towards the expansion, but based on like social media and you know, looking at the numbers it's pulling there, it seems like there's a decent bit of anticipation for uh, Cyberpunk's expansion, Edge Runners, and all that kind of stuff. I do quite often see like comments on my videos and comments on social media in general being like, I'll never play Cyberpunk 2077, Cyberpunk 2077, you gotta pay me to play that game, etc, etc. But I don't know, it seems like more people are also swinging into the notion of, yo, the game is actually not that bad, you don't have to pay $60 for it anymore, you can probably find it for 30 bucks, even cheaper than that, if you're buying it on console, and, uh, you know, it's a pretty decent RPG if you don't have, like, grandiose expectations for it, and going into the release of Cyberpunk 2077, um, I was pretty skeptical on how that game was gonna turn out, just based on the fact there were so many delays, and, uh, that usually just isn't a good sign, especially when they were just you know delay after delay after delay and they were quickly following one another that to me like was a, b a pretty big sign that there was trouble in paradise as far as this game is concerned but it's been getting better and you know the sequel is definitely not gonna have the hype and anticipation of the original game the original game was just like this crazy storm of you know a decade-long build-up everybody was you know staying indoors for a while and you know this was one of the games that people were just really excited for for a long time i don't foresee the sequel having that kind of buzz but can i see a sequel do pretty well from a commercial standpoint yeah i could see that happening at this point we know that cdpr is working on a new witcher title um i don't know if it's gonna be an instance of them divvying up the work time because the next Witcher game I don't foresee us getting that anytime in the near future I don't foresee a, si a potential cyberpunk sequel coming anytime in the near future either um in the case of Witcher the Witcher games did come out pretty consistently though the Witcher 1 was 2007 I want to say Witcher 2 was 2011 and then the Witcher 3 was 2015 so you're talking four years between games that's not that long 
But I also expect that development time to be much longer for, you know, games that are coming out in the year 2024, 2025, just because games are getting bigger and they're requiring a little bit more to be uh, developed for and whatnot. But in the sense of a Cyberpunk uh, sequel, I'm not really too surprised about that. But, you know, something to keep an eye on. Let's hope Edge Runners turns out pretty well. And if you can get Cyberpunk on sale, um, I do think it's worth it. It's on sale right now for 30 bucks. I still think that's a little bit too expensive. Wait for like $14.99. I think that's a pretty good price for it. All right, moving on from that, the Ubisoft event, uh, the Forward Showcase, that happened on Saturday, and a lot of information, mostly on Assassin's Creed, that seems to be the main talking point, but the Division Heartland, the latest Division title, a little bit different, the free-to-play multiplayer shooter will be coming sometime by the end of this year or into 2023. So I would say expect to play it within the next six to nine months. However, you can register for a chance to play the game early through the official website. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. The game notes a massive PvEVP and Storm Operations fight together in 45 player versus player environment versus player Storm Operations against a group of dangerous rogue agents. Prep the battlefield in PvE excursion operations and progress and adapt to survive. Play as one of six agents and select between three classes each match all with their own unique perks and skills so that is coming to all major platforms ps5 xbox series playstation 4 xbox one and pc uh the sign up is available at the official website so you can register for that right now mentioned it earlier today not a bad time to sign up for ubisoft a plus as well free for the next month so uh you can try out that maybe you'll want to play some of the older uh tom clancy games division one and two are on there i believe so yeah you can check those out lastly do want to note that the talented studio over at firaxis are bringing out another tactics based title but this one a little bit different being a marvel title marvel's midnight suns will be launching on playstation 5 xbox series and pc through steam and the epic game store on december the 2nd so it will be coming out by the end of this year this was officially announced at the disney and marvel game showcase and this is a marvel game with that xcom style tactics based gameplay to it the gameplay so far has looked pretty good i'm a little bit on the fence about it but it's a little bit easier of a sell given that firaxis is at the helm of the development of this game and that makes me think hey the game's probably going to turn out to be pretty good i don't know if it's a game that people are going to be jumping out to spend 60 dollars on there's also a digital plus edition and a legendary edition that goes up as high as 100 bucks so you know, that's a little bit of a hard sell, but um, yeah, we'll see how that ultimately turns out. Hopefully it turns out pretty good because, again, Frax is pretty consistent in terms of putting out really solid uh, tactical titles, so we'll see how that turns out. That's going to do it for me. Again, as far as Cyberpunk goes, a potential sequel could be happening for that. I really do foresee it happening sometime in the future. No time in the near future, whether it be a sequel, spinoff. I think uh, eventually that will happen. The Division Heartland, you can sign up for early access right now, and Marvel's Midnight Suns will be dropping on December 2nd. That's going to do it for me. As always, guys, you can leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.